Do we want to spend time to push back the fog right now? We don't really need. Um, maybe we should just do the basic one. Just the basic. Well, we can't. We don't have enough uh, viscera, actually. Oh boy, we must use a lot of viscera to push back the uh, when we did the superior one. I think we did the superior. Did we do the superior one last? I, I've already forgotten. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, we can we can do this though. Seems fine. All right. Oliver's idle and very hungry. Probably because the stairs are not finished. Probably should finish that. <laughs> Uh, unable to reach a cot. It's bad. Very hungry. That's also bad. <laughs> but hey, now we actually have access to up here. Get the other part of the roof finished. Alright. Well. It's worth saying thanks everyone for coming out to the stream today. Uh, it's a bit, in some ways similar, in some ways different from the usual fare for uh, for Friday. But uh, it's a nice little uh, game to be playing. What's going on here? Roof not supported. Oh no! I didn't notice that. I guess we need. Uh, Oliver. Huh. Yeah, it seems pretty fun, yeah. Uh, it seems like there, there's a lot of, like, stuff to learn about. Uh, like, if you look at the status. So he's trending towards being less happy. Um, I think, yeah. This, so the conviction target is based on... Ah, oh, right, we got a classroom again. Um... This reminds me a lot of RimWorld, where in RimWorld you have uh, a bunch of different things that affect uh, your uh, pawn's moods. And so then you would have a target of like, if all the mood conditions continue, this is what their overall like uh, mood, in this case conviction, will be, which is this target right here. And so we're trending down because uh, slept on floor, uh, and then feeling slightly unsafe and uh, craving recreation. We don't have any recreation. So yeah, um, we should, let's continue to build up the, the walls of this like stairwell. That will also let us get some support for the roof, I think. Maybe, I don't know if we need this up one more or how the support works. Or actually, what is the range of their ability to build? I don't know that either. <laughs> Will this support uh, thing go away once the thing is built? Or once we plan a thing? Ah, there we go. All right. Hey, more rooms. Let's, uh, let's drop in some doors. So it does... It does use material. You can see there it uses 10 wood per door. So this is <laughs> yet another game where we're building a base. Uh, in addition to um, base building in Power World and working on bases and stuff in uh, Great Technic Horizons. Something I would like to do though so for like 10 months, I have had a schedule and it's basically been the same game on the same day, you know, for like a playthrough or until, you know, I was like, ah, I can't take any more of this. And then something else is picked. What I would really like to do is have a day where we maybe do a poll or, you know, do something where maybe there could be multiple games or it could be like uh, uh, a wheel. 
It could be random, or it could be, um, I mean, a poll might work with, like, um, channel points. Like, we would start the game, uh, start the stream, and uh, maybe I could pick some games that I have on Steam. And we do a poll, and then we'll just do whatever. That could be fun. So, let's look at our room overlay again. What do, what, do you, what do we got going on here? So, we still have the steer bedroom. It's private. Um, if we added multiple beds, then I think we would... That plus two and a half can, conviction would go away. Um, but we have another room here. I guess we could just make another bedroom for another student. With a cot. And then let's get some more torches here. Build a copy. There we go. And then this room becomes, uh, yeah, two and a half conviction, two sleepers. There you go. So now we have two bedrooms for our uh, two students. Uh, we're still making the instructors all sleep in a common room. Uh, but really at this point, fog advancing. Um, yeah, that's fine. I really, uh, at this point, why not just keep on going up and add more more rooms to the side? Um, yeah, why not? Can you, can you put a floor over a roof? So if we, if we like take this and we just keep on going up, but then we put a floor here to here. Okay, the roof there is being replaced, but that's fine. Uh, and then we do a spiral stair um, to there at least. We do need the floor across here replacing that bit of roof. And let's go ahead and replace this bit of roof or demolish it. There we go. And this one. All right, and the other thing we should do is, uh, because we, we made a bedroom, and th this is gonna be fine. Uh, and we made the wands. Uh, so let's summon a student. We can't summon a gifted student apparently because we need a staff and arcane scrolls and all the stuff that we don't, we can't make, but we can summon a student, right? So we'll uh, we'll use Archibald here, I guess, and we'll use the wand that we have, the earth wand, and we'll begin a ritual. All right, let's get another student. Unreachable object. <laughs> uh... Who is it gonna be? Actually, for these sorts of things, I really should at some point set up something where we, um, we can rename, uh, we can rename people, right? Yeah. So, let's name, um, I'm gonna keep the instructors because we just got those in the beginning. I'll, I'll leave them as is. But we have Alexandra and Buttercup now. Uh, who in the chat? wants to have their uh, name in the game. Looking for volunteers for Alexandra. And then we'll rename uh, Buttercup too if there's someone else that wants to be in. I don't have like a, a name raffle or anything set up. So first come, first serve. Back when we started Oni, and we were printing uh, dupes. There were not enough people hanging out in chat to even bother. But uh, let me know and I'll, I'll rename uh, first Alexandra for the first person, uh, or if you'd rather be uh, <laughs> a Wolfkin student. So we have, we got a vivified student and we have a Wolfkin student. 
So I'll put your name in if you'd like. All right, so uh, Earth Wands. Yeah, putting into storage. Um, we got. <laughs> It looks like a, I think it's a heart emote. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to tell what emotes mean. All right, what is that? Placing walls and reachable. Yeah, we're still working on building the uh, spiral staircase up. Can we build the last bits yet? Blocked by roof now, okay. So that's being worked on. Um, can we assign this cot? Let's say, not staff. So Buttercup will go in there. Seems good. There we go, there we go. So what I'm curious about though, with um, putting the floor over the roof. That would then allow us to like start building more stuff. And then if it rains, all the stuff down here is still covered by a roof, right? And we could we could probably just like alternate. <laughs> and I like kind of it, it might look kind of cool too to have kind of a a thing sticking out off the side of it. I think I'm just waiting for them to remove some of the roof pieces here. So we can finish the, uh, the staircase there. Uh, what else do we need to do? All right, so the reason we wanted two students is to under to unlock the under school. Uh, so we just, we have the stuff. We have the Phoenix flowers and the viscera. Shall we unlock the under school? Open the mysterious underschool filled with treasure, mystery, and danger. Mages may venture there to grow in power, find arcane scroll, and test their skills. Uh, so we can put Archibald and Oliver over here. And we can put our two students in as well. And uh, it takes 15 minutes. Let's see how that goes. Oh, cool, this part's done. Let's uh, also queue up building the rest of the spiral stair. There we go. All right, so it's ritual time. Aha! Look at that. Explore the spine. Delving deeper may have consequences. Interesting. So this is below the mana font and we have kind of an extended staircase going down. Get some roots. So what what happens, send, send mages to open the door. All right. <laughs> Explore the next room in the underschool. Danger lurks around every corner, so prepare yourself for the fight ahead. Okay. Um, so we have front row and back row. So front row is here. Fire and maybe dark. And then air and... Do I need four? Or should I go with three? Maybe I don't want to risk students. Ah, we'll send Alexandra. Yeah, fire three. I assume that's like skill level. Alexandra is fully trained now, right? Uh, welcome back, Brainless. So hey, actually, before we do this, would you uh, like to be one of the characters? I, I'm gonna rename uh, 
on request, I will rename students for uh, people in chat here on Twitch. Since it is a new game. Sure, Buttercup. Okay. Uh, let's see. Can't, can I do that from here? I feel like I... <laughs> Let me let me take a step back. Uh, and Buttercup, we will rename to Brainless. Uh, Brainless or Brainless Society? Brainless Society. Unless you would prefer the shorter version. <laughs> Voila, just Brainless. Okay. Your wish. <laughs> what about you, Jake? <laughs> also, Jake, since you're here, I thought about you earlier today. I got my Costco order in. And uh, I got a big thing of cocktail shrimp. And as I was taking about a quarter of it and putting it on a plate, I thought of you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna. Oh, good! It kept the uh, the lineup. So I'm gonna send these guys out. I don't know what's gonna happen. This this is fine. Nothing could possibly. I mean, only one skull, right? That that's completely safe, right? Oh, hey, look! It's a different game. <laughs> okay. Uh. It doesn't look like you have any, like, scrolls, so this is like a kind of RPG-ish kind of thing going on here. Uh, so we have Archibald here, and we have a turn lineup. So Archibald, and then the Lantern Keeper, and then Ragavast, and then the Belcher, and then Oliver, and then uh, Alexandra. Okay. So we can cast, move, flee, and pass. I guess we're gonna cast Vengeance as Retaliate, 15 to allies in the target row. Okay, now. Fireball 2. Attacks an enemy, 50% critical hit chance. Total damage, 30. Mana cost, 20. We have 105 mana. Okay. And blinded. Okay, what is that? Uh, lowered power, minus 10 power. I guess that's maybe for two turns, is what the two there is. All right, and then it's uh, Ragavast's turn. And we have Shadow Cloak. Add Shadow Cloak to an allied position for two rounds. Or a Tentacle Lash. Attacks an enemy, deals 40 per plus 40 damage when attacking from Shadow Cloak. Okay. Okay. So this seems like something we wanna add this to ourselves. Okay. And then we have, uh, so this is Oliver over here. Has Shield of Wind 1. Adds Shield 1 to the targeted ally. Shield prevents all damage from the next time a mage is attacked in battle. Multi Strike 2 attacks the enemy three times. Total damage is 8, though, so that's like 24 damage. This isn't so great. Not so great. Shield of Wind, though, it seems like, uh, it seems like Archibald is taking a lot of hits. So let's shield him up. There we go. And now it's our fully trained student's turn, uh, who's also got Vengeance and Fireball. Adds Retaliate 15 to allies and target a row. When attacked, a mage with Retaliate will damage the attacker. Uh, uh, I just realized you are Earth and Wolfkin. Nice combo. Yeah. But you're not here. Because you're not trained at all. We left you uh, upstairs. Total damage 27. Vengeance. So maybe we could put... Oh, so it's the row. Yeah, okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, so we'll do Fireball again on the Lantern Keeper. Get some more damage in there. There we go. Cool. Alright, so now it's uh, Ragavast's turn. And... I don't think this uh, stacks... 
So we'll do Cynical Lash. Alright, took him out, and then got the Retaliate too. Um, Multi-Strike 2. Seems like the thing to do. Um, I mean, unless Vulture is going to do like 50 damage to Archibald, I think this is better. Um, it looks like we still have Vengeance up. Maybe for another turn. So I'm going to do Fireball as well. Get some damage out. There we go, and a crit. Nice. And then Fireball 2 again. Should take him out. Bam. Victory. So what do we get? I, so this is, like I said, I've not seen a lot of this game, so I, I didn't know this was a thing. <laughs> we got four Viscera, 50 Stone, five Smoke Pearls. They're used in recipes to make wands and certain rook decorations. Um, and two Arcane Scrolls. A page of Arcane Script used to unlock certain research topics at the Arcane Secretary. Okay. Um, looks like we could also, so apparently there are Underlords. I don't know what that's about. Uh, and there's a Scrivener's Desk uh, that maybe we can make Arcane Scrolls with. Uh, Messy Meddler have been loosed. Events unlocked in the underscore recur in the future. Okay, Messy Meddler have been loosed. All right, so let's pause really quick. Uh, need Medical Rest, that's interesting. So now, Looks like we descended further. Under school chamber. Hold on, let's go back to that room overlay. Underground load, uh, underground grounded lofted. Gremlins and ooze do not spawn here. <laughs> Does that mean they spawn elsewhere? Okay, so this is, I see. So there's a fungal cave, there's a lava mine. So we're, we're just like expanding out, exploring stuff. How far does it go? <laughs> if there's if there's underlords, maybe it goes quite a ways. <laughs> um, interesting. Okay. So medical rest. If a mage loses all of their health points in battle, they will suffer a trauma and be knocked out. Mages can sometimes gain more max HP via earning certain badges. HP recovers in a medical bed, uh, or by drinking a health potion. Have I never noticed you use glasses? Or is this the first time you wear that on the stream? No, I'm always wearing glasses. They are very, uh, you know, they're, uh, what do you call, rimless? So if, I, if I'm looking just to the right angle, they're pretty unnoticeable, I guess. Especially, you know, <laughs> yeah. I could, I could probably, um, yeah, like the text on screen these days is a little, little blurry without glasses, so. Which is unfortunate. There was a point where I started wearing glasses and like, I was fine for looking at a computer screen, but like for driving, I would need them. But nowadays, all right, so learn about medical rest. Uh, maybe we should have medical beds, but we probably can't make that. Oh, uh, furniture made miniature by air magic. So we must, this is like, uh, we knock something off or something, uh, and we can put it somewhere now. Why is there not a wall there? Oh, we broke the rope. That's why. Okay. Let's, uh, sneak that in there. Uh, and let's fix this whole situation. Uh, build construction wall. Looks like we... Lost that, so let's get that rest of that roof there. How do we? Ah, there we go. Ah. Confirm. There we go. Should be all fixed up again. over here. Alright, so we have Brainless. 
And now our, our first student, who's fully trained, is not on the staff yet, hasn't been hired. It's still up for grabs if anyone wants their name in the game. Um, I think, look at the top left notification. Ah, uh, a messy me <laughs> I might want to read this one. A poltergeist, a messy meddler. I was wondering what that message meant in the thing below. A, mess uh, a lesser messy meddler spawns in the vicinity of your school to create messes around your crafting station. So, uh, like a peeves, if you will. You're back. Welcome back, Foxy. Uh, so, what you missed, <laughs> we, we went into like an RPG style fight, exploring the under school. <laughs> Hi, back. <laughs> the good one. Um, and uh, apparently we've unleashed a poltergeist somewhere. Can we see where it is? We can battle it. A battle awaits. Dispels in 7.3 hours. Maybe we should battle it. Um, uh, Ragavast is low on mana. <laughs> oh, here, it, here he is. Here is our lessy, lesser messy meddler. What, what is he doing here? Uh, let's let's go normal speed. Goes through doors. Wanders around. He leaves filth behind. Can be warded off. I mean, that doesn't seem so, seem so bad. Just a little mess. Adds a little ambiance, right? <laughs> All right, and we we fixed the room here. Let's make it red. All right. So, and then we have people that need medical rest. We can't really do anything about that yet because we haven't unlocked the technology. It's going to tell us about it. You have to build a medical bed. Uh, we can't do that yet. Uh, arcane Adept and Savant Scrolls. Yeah, so we got some Arcane Scrolls from our little adventure. They can also be crafted at the Scrivener's Desk. We're going to figure that out already. Skill level earned. So Brainless learned Nature Skill Level 1. There you go. So we got some classes. Um, so what I was saying though before, Foxy, now that you're back, um, what I'm going to be doing in this game, and I'm going to try to do other games where we have like uh, nameable things in the game. Um, it's up for grabs. Whoever wants to have their name in the game. We still have our first student, Alexandra. I, I can rename uh, if you want your name in the game. Uh, I was also going to say that I think we'll be coming back to this. Uh, continue to play this, but I do also want to let's let's battle the uh, uh, the messy meddler. I'm, I'm kind of curious how that works. Um, yeah, this is probably fine. Preparing for battle. Um, what was I gonna say? I do want to do like a poll or something. Maybe maybe Friday will be. The, the day where we kind of mix up what the game is. Um, I might do something where when we start the, screen, the stream. Uh, oh, hey, Brainless, you completed the uh, full learning bronze trial. Love of learning, bronze medallion, gain conviction while learning and teaching. Completed. Cast while full at a learning stone 25 times in a basic or in intermediate classroom. Okay. There you go. You were full, and you uh, you did some casting. So maybe we'll do a poll or something on Fridays going forward with um, probably this game and uh, some of the other games I have in my Steam collection that we're not playing on other days. And we can just have a poll at the beginning. Uh, so make sure to show up. First thing, we'll probably use, like, 15-ish minutes, kind of just chatting and uh, stuff on Fridays, uh, and do it that way. Um, so yeah, anyway, so we, we're we're back here. So messy messy meddler here has um, 170 health. 
Archibald is not doing great. I should not have him on the front line, but um, let's do this. Let's cast Vengeance. And, uh, okay, so Ragavos also is, is hurt, but has some uh, 40 damage when attacked from Shadow Cloak. Okay, so we're gonna do Shadow Cloak on ourselves. Ooh, corroded. Okay, Archibald is not gonna survive another turn. Uh, and we don't have any kind of, um, had shield one. Okay, let's shield. Wait, what does shield do again? All damage for the next time a mage is attacked in battle. So that'll let this guy, oh, we can move him? Okay. Oh yeah, there's a move option. Well, hold on. So if we did this, if we just move, we could swap him to the front. Yeah, good one. Yeah, I forgot about. Uh, oh, and we can still cast. Cool. So, um, I think I care about dealing damage here. There you go. Um, yeah. This probably doesn't stack. Also, it's a lot of mana. Let's just use uh, Fireball. There we go. Uh, Tentacle Lash 2. Nice. Multi-strike. Got him. Boom. So we got two more arcane scrolls. We got a uh, Hallow Lily Bloom. So used in recipes to make strong potions and textiles. <laughs> and some ectoplasm, six ectoplasm, which is used for potions and quilted helpers and to build certain furnishings. Sources Midden Jelly and Spectral Croa. Okay, cool. Uh, now we have three people that need medical rest. Uh, are we still researching? Uh, let's see. Where were we researching? Oh yeah, hey, hey. <laughs> we're researching critical care. We're researching the thing that we were gonna need. How about that? Uh, lesser messy meddler was defeated. Okay, I can't dismiss that though. All right. Uh, yeah, and you completed your your trial. And we got bedrooms for the students. Um, I'm kind of curious if we can um, just keep going up. <laughs> hmm. Um, how are we doing on materials? So we have gut berry. We have iron and stone and wood. We got a, a good amount of stuff. Here we go. He's going to build this now. So one thing we could do here is we could like cap this off with a roof and then start building up here. Did I see the room workshop? Uh, probably not. So workshops, uh, ooh, plus 25% research crafting rate. What do we need for that? It needs to be lofted. Uh, must not have any ritual sigils or medical beds or teaching stations or a, a bunch of things. And it needs to be taller than it is wide. Okay. Um, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna demolish some of this. And we're gonna build some roof. Eventually. Ooh, actually, I'm gonna build a little bit more wall here. There's, there's a method to this. Ooh, that's gonna look cool. Yeah, definitely. 
so that we have everything like from below here roofed. And then I'm gonna build um, spiral stairs from here up. So we're gonna have a new staircase. But have everything existing roofed. <laughs> I guess that means we need something like this. Seems fine. How are we on, uh, what are we using to make the walls? It's just stone, right? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I do like spiral staircases, although I would hate to live in a place where a spiral staircase was the main way to like like, how do you move furniture? <laughs> Up or down? But for maybe like a loft space would be good. Oh, also, everything is really slow because I have been playing at the 3x speed before. Rain incoming. Okay, so let's prioritize. Uh, the roof here. And we need a little bit more roof, don't we? Oops. No, no, no. Yeah, like that. Confirm. Priority five, go. Now, what effect is the ring going to have on the staircase in this left out area? My impression was it was mostly going to damage, like, furniture and stuff. a support overlay so we can see we're kind of <laughs> we're, we're, we're out there um, and there's a pathing overlay interesting what is unreachable uh, that's a question uh, this stuff up here I think because this the staircase hasn't been finished there, there's something here oh yeah so I think this is yeah yeah, yeah. So we've only built the stairs up to this far. Yep. So there is a range in how far they can uh, do stuff. Alright, so we should be good, right? We have roof and roof and roof. Here the oh. okay they're pulling stuff in it's fine we should um shoot some more harvest here there we go fog advancing should do something about that too if we don't have enough viscera, we will soon. So basically what I'm thinking of doing is we'll do small rooms off of this wall going this way that are also kind of uh, <laughs> hanging over the edge. But this way we don't risk having to take the roofs off of any of the other structure. Yeah. So clever. 
Not supported. Nice tall uh, situation there. There we go. Prioritize getting some viscera. Let's get those diorats in, huh? I feel like I might have said the word viscera more times today than I have said in my prior in my entire life up till now. But there you go. Please repel the fog. What's our research doing? 246 of uh, 300. Lightning. Uh, it's kind of wondering. Magic and combat. Fire. Lightning. A two on lightning. A one in lightning and a one in lightning. Is there something that we can look at to see like overall like collective magic capability? Like for thinking about doing research? I guess it's just ones across the board and then uh, two in lightning and two in air. Two in nature and two in dark. Two in water, two in earth. Okay, so I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's pretty spread out. All right, so uh, what I was thinking was moving the arcane secretary up here. Maybe actually moving to? How's the, uh, what were the, the conditions for a workshop? Lofted, one or more research and crafting station. I assume that the, uh, the arcane secretary counts as a, uh, research, uh, station. Probably also want some lights. Let's go blue. Yeah, it's already a workshop. Awesome. It's unfortunate that it is uh, even number. 
All right, let's move the other one. Yeah, they both fit. That's fortunate. I guess we have to put four there. What's going on here? That's the place marker for where we're going to move it. Fog is advancing. Still more viscera, right? Yeah. Oh, it tells us here. So, okay, we don't get viscera from Croa. Just from two viscera per diorat. How are we doing on um, gut bearing? 87. Uh, I guess at some point we set up the gruel pot, but we. Uh, I guess we should have a do until. This feels very Rimworld. Uh, control. Minus ten when eaten. Yep. Add meal order. Ooh, carcass stew. But also minus ten conviction. It's okay. So will this auto resume when we drop below ten? To keep us stocked on uh, gut berry soup. So we'll check in later. So we have a uh, tin cup berry soup. There is another option when you open that. <laughs> when I open this. Oh, there is. I didn't even see that as a thing. Yeah. Until, um, I don't know, five. Feels right. They'll cook until 10 and let it drop to five and then it'll re-trigger, yep. Yeah. That's basically how you set up uh, like food orders in uh, in RimWorld, which is kind of the, the the closest analogy to like this kind of setup that, that I can think of right now. All right, so this is a workshop, yeah. Elevated, towered, lofted, skewed, and private. <laughs> So here's the here's the school so far.
Is it, uh, is it possible to build down here? No. So this is more of a... Oh, you can put a cut down here. <laughs> Make someone live down here. Does this count as a bedroom? Like if we look at the room type. It's an underschool chamber. Yeah, this is fine. <laughs> See what it does. Alright, so this this isn't even a room. Is this or is this part of this room? How does that work? Okay, we don't we don't get any room information from down here. I wonder if we put the bed. Let's move it. Okay, we can't not allowed here. Okay. What about here? Okay, I see. So, <laughs> I guess that means we can put cots just in this general area. Yeah, like right here. But I don't know why we'd want to do that. Let's go ahead and uh, shrink it. Use it for later. So we got fog incoming. Uh, kind of fine, but I would still like to expand. But we don't. We don't have viscera. We should. Um, can we? Yeah, we just do this, and we can hunt the things. An innocent crow? Where? Oh, I think there was one over here, yeah? Uh, I think it got picked up in the uh, the bulk select. Are they innocent? How innocent are they? We'll spawn a spectral crow at night. Can be processed in uh, midden jelly for <laughs> useful ingredients. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see that. We'll spawn. Uh, let's destroy that, then. Claimed by Brainless. Brainless, you're going to go over there and destroy that. Or, nope, claim by Camille. See, problem solved. All right, do we have Viscera enough yet? Nope, four of eight. Soon. Two more rats. Tell that fog. Uh, let's not use all of the instructors because uh, nice to have an extra one left, up, left over. Did you notice the info below their character? This info? Or, oh, um, in here? There was something about plus something for the uh, repel. When you do the ritual, yeah. It's like having more participate propels the fog further. Uh, but the last time, I guess it was nighttime anyway, probably wouldn't have mattered. But the last time I did it, I had all four 
of the staff members, and then I saw a thing saying that um, student stopped learning because no instructor or whatever the message was. So, rain incoming. Cost is the same, but the more and with better level, the farther. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. So, can I add wall here? It's unreachable. <laughs> wall is unreachable, so maybe not. Maybe not. On the other hand, I guess at this point there's not a need for a roof because it's already roofed up here. Just trying to figure stuff out, you know? Ah, there right now it's reachable. Let's go ahead and uh, not do anything. No, actually, this is fine. This is covered by a roof. Can we, um. Thought there was gonna be a sneeze. But there was no sneeze. Can we uh, have the roof extend further past the wall? If there was a way to reach it. <laughs> You're so sleepy, but you need to stay awake one more hour to eat. You need to take some exams tomorrow. I need a given number of hours after the last time I eat. I see. I see. That kind of exam. Gotcha. Well, I can go on for a little longer. Figure out. I think. Let's go ahead and demolish this bit of roof here. That should make this part of this wall reachable. It's 131. I think we're trending up. Alright, so these are still unreachable. I wonder if we could, um... Let's see, I can build a wall to here. And maybe remove this bit of wall. still unreachable, apparently. Hmm. Log advancing. As it does, as it does. Uh, I guess... Let's do this. Then we should be able to reach this if we get this built. How much do we need to build to be able to reach there? 